Hello and welcome back to another video. So today we, I'll be taking a look at the mobs in bottle add-on. That I would have called that mobs in bottles. That uh, that makes a bit more sense in my mind, but I don't know. Maybe they're Norwegian or something, and it was like a poor translation or something. I do not know. But let's get into it. Um, so yeah, this is um, one that's, that was like uh, put up a while back and I just didn't look look into it for whatever reason I may have had back then when it was first released. Maybe I just didn't like uh, uh, didn't think it was super interesting or something. So, but... Uh, I am uh, running out of stuff to do with you because uh, for the last couple of weeks there's not really been any new interesting add-ons. So god damn it, it's another one of these books. Right, so yeah, so you click on the left one to go back, right one to go forward. So you can craft this with uh, uh, five iron ingots, a diamond, and a redstone torch. Redstone torch, diamond. One, two, three, four, five. Go in here, craftable. Bottle uh, gun. That, do that does not English properly. It should probably be bottle gun. Not bottle air gun. I do not know. But, ah! Ah, it's used as a weird gun. So, that's a bit odd because I was like thinking last, uh, with some of the past reviews that uh, Mojang didn't like them using the weird gun. Maybe as well. And then you get uh, 15 more bottles with four glass blocks. One, oh, I know that's glass pane. Yeah. One, two, three, four, and then three ingots. One, two, three. It's a little bit expensive. I was expecting like, um, well, like glass, 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 wooden block, or something like that. But you do get 15, so I guess it's fine. Oh, and this is all the. So let's let's get this. How do I pick this up? If I run away, will it just teleport into my inventory? New no, that's not great. Okay. I'm gonna bottle up this away. How do I do I have to right click on them? No. Do I left click? No. Ah, I need to stand back a bit. There we go. Jar bottle now, I've got a bottle of lay. Do I shift punch? No. Oh, well, anyway. Uh, gives levitation effects for seven seconds to everyone within a... Uh, with a radius of three blocks, target you, others, strength, single use. Okay, so how do I use this? Hold on. Let me heal up. Take my arm off so that doesn't uh, interfere with the effects. So do I use the bottle itself? So if I right click with the bottle, oh yeah, you use the bottle with that mob and it gives you le and it gives you the effect. Okay, so levitation gave me yeah, so you can see there it gave me levitation. That seem and it's single use, that seems quite bad for such a rare mob. Because you can only get a laze from like pillager outposts and it, uh, uh, woodland mansions on rare occasions, so uh, it's not really quite worth it. M I O. Wait, no, not M I O. I M O. In my opinion. Uh, 
Well, next up is the Armadillo. Be aware of the uh, giant rolling dead ball that is released in front of you. It will knock out every entity on it, in its path. So, also this has durability. Can this be enchanted with like breaking and stuff? Game mood one. Let's go down here and see, because only 300 uses seems a bit low for requiring a diamond. Ah, yes, it can be enchanted with some weird... So you can you can get Unbreaking Amend, and you can also get Flame Punch Power. Hold on. Can you put Infinity on it? E... In... Infinity. Yeah, it can be chanted with infinity. And everything else, but it, you know, can't have mending and infinity on the same thing. That's a bit odd, in my opinion. So does infinity actually work? So let's summon the armadillo. Some um, summon the armadillo. Fourteen. Yeah, infinity does not work. Actually, no, infinity does not. Oh wait, no, it does work. But then it gives you infinite. Oh, I might. I don't know, but it gave me more. Glass, more bottles than I had before. So armadillo. So let's uh some. A villager in here because I don't have my arm on. So, yeah. It did a bit of damage, but I don't think it did much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, you can see up there his health is still quite high, so it does not do a lot of damage. Can you get to give a P um wait um add ill one two three if I get myself five of them they do not stack so if you're using these you just be like bam bam. 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 Okay, this does way too real damage. How much health do you still have? L no, it literally did zero damage to them. To him. What's the point of them if they don't actually do damage then? Hey, come on, that's just a waste. Then you have the axolotl. Five fish will drop from the sky and harm the target. That should be odd. Um, um, armadillo, and not, why did I summon the armadillo, I meant to summon the axolotl. What is wrong with me? Axolotl. In you go. So let's get another villager in here and see if this one actually does damage. So, yeah, it did do damage. I mean, the fish aren't the ones doing the damage. I, mean, I guess you could use this to get infinite fish and tropical fish. I don't know why you want infinite fish and tropical fish, but you can. I mean, if you want 
super flat. That's the, that would be the only way to get uh, fish and tropical fish, but you can't really get attacks a lot also on super flat either, unless I don't. Yeah, no, the wandering trader can't trade them. I don't think to. So. Uh, next up is the bat. When used by the player, the bat will regroup all entities into a 10 block radius to place them 10 blocks in front of the player. That was a weird salad. Get in there. Aiming this thing is a pain in the butt. Get in the bottle! Stupid. There we go. So you got bat in a bottle. This is a. Uh, so. Bye. Go over here and I summon a few villagers. And then I use that. It teleported that guy there, but it doesn't have a very big radius by the looks of it. So that's pretty much pointless. I could not give you night vision for a few minutes or something. That makes more sense. Like, come on, why? Like that? I like, so far these aren't really making much sense. I mean, I guess the axe law one kind of makes some sense because they roll in the ball and they send the ball of data to your opponents, but and it skipped a bunch of pages for no reason. Oh uh, yeah, so B. Use it to place a fake bee nest full of angry bees within it. The first player to break the nest will get to a swarm of bees attacking them. So swarm B. Get in the bottle. Oh no, I did not want that. Get. There we go. So say you go to your friend's base, you place this down in their base. So, oh, a random beehive. Oh no, there's bears everywhere. And they're spawning even more. Okay, this, is, this would be pretty funny to get your friend's reaction to uh, if you place this down in their base. And that goes, there goes my totem. Then you just... Yep. Yeah. There. Well, this this is a way to get infinite bees. Basically. As you place this down... You punch it, and then you got a bunch of angry bees, but can you... Yeah, you can just use this to capture them. So then you have a bunch of bees. Wait. Let me just get these guys. Hold on, kill at E, take equals B, close brackets. E. So yeah, got a couple more Bs out of that, so if you really wanted, you could keep going with that until you have a unlimited Bs. Yeah, um, 
Somehow I went all the way back to the start. Uh, next up is the Blaze uh, Control a Flame L Flame Thrower for 5 seconds with a range of 5 blocks. So, let me summon the Blaze in here so it doesn't burn down my house. Um, blaze. Into there we go. So let me summon a villager real quick. Well, actually, is it? There's like a sheep or something I can kill. No. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a mushroom there I can kill. So you right click and it makes a flamethrower in front of you. But it doesn't actually set them on fire. Why does this not set them on fire? Couldn't even. Okay, it doesn't didn't even do that much. Hold on. I'm going to be back in a minute. I'm just going to go to another test world to see if this is just my world being buggy because sometimes this world is a bit buggy and it doesn't work properly or if these are legitimately just like doing no damage. Right, so I'm in a different world now. This one uh, isn't, but so game mode one. So let's get a blaze in a jar. So yeah, it doesn't set them on fire still. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it doesn't even do real da- Why? It's doing fake damage because mushrooms only have 10 HP. Let me just double check on on another mushroom. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. It does no damage. So the all of these are literally as effective as just fr as just throwing eggs at them. Because this is doing just as much damage as any of the uh, bottled mobs. Like why? Th this has been out for a while now. They've had plenty of time to fix this. Fix this. Why haven't they fixed this? What is the point? But the, like, the only one that actually will do damage is a B, and that's only uh, useful against in against other players. It's like, so why? Uh, Bob, the arrows will fall from the sky on your target and the, the area around will be poisoned. Okay, so let's see if this actually does damage. Oh, if I put it Lord. Um, Adelo B Blaze Bogged. Will this do damage? I've, like, it probably uses the vanilla poison effect, so it probably will. And it uses vanilla arrows. So this should definitely do damage. So, one, two. Yeah, so that did do damage because it used vanilla poison effect and the, the vanilla arrows. Huh. Breeze, create a, a large uh, repulsive blaster that will eject pay. Breeze. I mean, it pushed him back. Don't think it did any damage. Okay, so that. Okay, so let's. We've got a couple of mushrooms here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, no, it doesn't do damage. It just pushes them, which is limited use case at best. Oh, it pushes yourself as well. Which makes it even more limited use case because you're just going to end up killing yourself with this. Unless like... Uh, unless... You could use it as like... No, you can't really use it as a breeze rod because it just sends you in a random direction. And even then, breeze rods are stackable. They're not so... 
they just be a worse version of a breeze rod. And there's a camel want to see a camel uh, dance. But why though? Cat. Oh, I'm going to grab a bunch of these real quick. So I'm not constantly just going in and out of my inventory. So that the Elder Guardian and the Man Boom Boom. Boom, boom. And this has been updated because this was released before the bog, if I remember correctly. So they updated it to add the bog, but they didn't update it to uh, they update the old ones to actually do damage. Right, all the way to the shortcut. So cat. Uh, use this cat uh, power to use its fear to bring you a lot of fish. It spawns fish. And it also kills the cat. So you have Cave Spider. Shoot cobwebs from your bottle to trap your targets in cobwebs and poison them. So this will probably do damage because again it's using the vanilla poison effect. But yep, it makes cobwebs. Actually, this is useful because cobwebs are a non-renewable uh, block in Minecraft. So uh, I wouldn't even I wouldn't really craft this for the poison effect. I just craft this so I could like spam these. I get a bunch of cobwebs uh, and use the cobwebs for whatever I need cobwebs for. So this is it. This. Gives cave spider spawners more of a use at least. Then we have chicken who doesn't love to see a cloud of feathers block the view. Oh. I mean, if you're on a multiplayer server, you could uh, do a ninja thing and it's like, you do smoke bomb and then run away. Or something, I guess. But in single player, that's entirely pointless. Then we have cards, throw this bottle to release the captured fish as well as a source of water. Yeah, fish and some water. So, why not? Well, that's basically just a bucket. Why could you just not do you? Why would you use that instead of a bucket? Cow, when used it, it will release a haystack that will roll and knock back everything on its in its path. It will leave wheat. Per okay, there's a chicken there. It makes hay carpet. Can you use hay carpet for anything? You get a single wheat out of it, so that's two, four, six. 8, 10, 12 wheat you get from it. Did it? No, we couldn't even kill the chicken. Creeper, throw the bottle for an instant creeper like explosion. It went boom. Basically, just placed a TNT there. Mind you. Why is it not going all the way down? Oh, it's hitting me, that's why. So yeah, if you do it too low down, you'll just hit yourself and blow yourself up. You can do this. I 
Ah, es... It does... It does it or does it not blow up water? I'm not quite sure. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You can use it to make a big hole. Well, but you can only stack... They only stack up to one and, you know, and then you have to, like, find all that creepers. Uh, not that useful, really. Dolphin isn't that great. So the length, uh, the dolphin power is giving you swim boost effects. So uh, it gives you the it gives you speed and conduit power. That's actually decent because conduit power is quite good. Uh, that was very short conduit power. Then you have the donkey. When hitting the target, it will apply slowness and the uh, mining fatigue. Why would that be the Donkey and not like the Guardian or Elder Guardian. Also, this would only really be useful in mostly single player because at uh, multiplayer because mining fatigue doesn't affect hostile mobs and yeah. So this isn't it good. Doesn't really make much sense. Alright, next up is the Elder Guardian. Be aware of the almighty uh, draining power of... It drains water. That makes less than no sense because it's Elder Guardians live in water. Why would they drain water? Like, come on. Enderman, throw a bottle of for for it to act like an ender pill. So it's an ender pill that only stacks up to one. Why? Why would you? Why? Just why? Endermite, teleport to the uh, target at randomly in a thirty block area. I mean, I guess if you're, like, being attacked by something, this is somewhat useful, because you can just go, like, uh, oh, I mounted the donkey. You just like, oh, god damn it, stop mounting the donkey and throw, you can just throw that at them and then teleport them away. There's also teleported my book away, so I'm just gonna TP at E, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Book's back. Now my inventory is going to be full of rubbish. Oh, well, golden cows. I don't really care because I'm creative. Next is the evoker. Use its power to summon a circle of fangs around you. Well, that's not even the evoker's power. That's the, uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, no, that is the evoker. Vindicator's the one with the axe. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, and it, and because it is a vanilla thing, it does damage. I mean, I'm not sure it's really worth it. Then we have the fox. When does the fox catch? Uh, what does the fox catch for one chicken but one parrot and one rabbit? It's up. It spawns a chicken, rabbit, and parrot. Okay. A frog. Use it when you want a sudden jump boost effect. Okay. All right. Let's see how much jump boost does this give you. Oh, it doesn't give you jump boost. It's la it launches you into the sky, not jump boost. Wait. Launches you pretty high, so it's decent, I guess. Just bad wording in the name. Uh, in the description, sorry. Always wanted to uh, shoot a giant fireball like a ghast. So sh shoots a gas fireball. I, I don't really think anyone... Well, I guess you could do something with that. Maybe I don't know. Uh, glow squid. Use it if you want to light up an entire 50 by 50 area to prevent mobs from spawning. Now this is useful, it places light sources 
in a big area to stop mobs from spawning. Now that's what I'm talking about. And it seems to be fine with like terrain that goes like up and down and everything. That, that's actually useful. Finally, one that I can actually say is definitively useful. Uh, ho oh my god, go to the bottom. Not oh yeah, go to you. I don't know why I skipped to the next page. Uh, receive speed effect and deal knockback. I don't think this doesn't actually give you speed. I guess it just launches you forward. Ah, yeah, it does give you speed, but it doesn't launch. Okay. So it gives you speed and it knocks away everything in front of you. And again, it'll just be an egg that's damaging them, so you're not going to do damage. And it hits the book. TP at E. Oh, the book's gone. Great. Oh, it's in my inventory. Oh, wait. Was it also in my... Oh, no, uh, I got it. Book. Next up is the Guardian. Briefcase by the chicken, dolphin, creeper, and the man and the my for ghast. Guardian, when you use a laser beam, will shoot from you I uh, from your eyes for five seconds. Okay, so that does actually do damage. It does just under about ten damage. I think that did. Well, uh. Mushroom has 10 HP, so probably just a bit over because not all of them hit, so... Yeah, well, considering that's a Guardian and a Pain in the Butts, so yeah, don't really think that's worth it. Uh, next up, Pissy Horse. Hmm. Uh, in need of super fast horse for a few, for five seconds, and you, so you use this. And you get a horse that's max speed, I guess. And then it's gone. So you can probably use that to... So if I... Hold on. Horse. If I get the horse in a bottle. A horse egg. <laughs> Lily, stop it. Right, so I'm pretty sure it's golden carrots to breed them. Oh yeah, you need to team it first. So you can read it. There we go, and then if I do that, yeah, so that's now... If I do this, get off the horse. Ah, okay, they thought of that. So once you get off the horse, it, de it instantly despawns. Okay. So my idea was you could like uh, breed those two together to get a fast to get a faster baby. Then you could breed, you know, you can grow the baby up and get it, to, and then continually doing do that until you get a super fast baby. Uh, then you have a hoglin transform a hoglin into a beautiful armchair. What? That is hideous. Why would you want this? And now you can't, I can't go, oh yeah, there we go. And now I have it as an item. Great. Gross. Now hold on. You know, llama. He shoots llama spit. But by the time you can just keep doing this. Does it actually do damage? Not by the looks of it. So this doesn't actually use llama speed. This just uses an a this uses a custom item, which actually makes it worse. Oh, it does give you them nausea though, and you can hit yourself with it. It does have gravity. So yeah, that's pretty much useless. Uh, Magnum Cube, Tins, Safari, Floor is Lava, Tins. 
as it tends to flow into lava for five seconds. Now, in five seconds, it tends to flow to lava, so. Yeah, so you can, you can just use this for infinite lava, just go somewhere you don't care about. It's like, okay, place this down here. Run away. Two, one. And it turns it all into lava, and then you can farm up the lava. Or you could just use it to greet your friend's house. Then you have the mule gives slowness and mind and fatigue to your target. I, again, why is this the mule and the donkey? They did the same thing, it's stupid. A uh, panda transforms your uh, panda into a giant plush that will hug it, everyone within its uh, space for three seconds to remove it, punch it. So make panda and I hug. The cow for three seconds, and then to Elliot, uh, and then it just, and then I just punch it into it. Takes forever to, and you can't, and you don't get it back. So once you place it, it's there for forever or nowhere. I guess that's. It would be cool if you could like move that and place it wherever you wanted. Then you could place it in your base, and it would look cool. Uh, what uh, doesn't want to, uh, who doesn't want to scare their friends with some angry mob sounds? Okay. Again, useless if it's not, if you're not playing multiplayer. Uh, fly in the direction you are looking for seven seconds. I'm going to go over there. Yeah, it just pushes you forward for seven seconds, basically. I mean, it could be useful, but you're not, well, not super useful. I don't really think many people are going to go crazy for that. Pig, pig, you me, me, me. I don't know how. I think like the bug skin, some of these mixed up because pig. It should be. Should it? No. Yeah, pig should definitely. Okay, so like it's the creative inventory that went wrong. Uh, game on pads that give slowness. Boom. So, if you want this, you s slow down. So, yeah, basically a new car here because it's basically just like, boom. Uh, if I go into survival game mode zero, and like, yeah, you can pick it up, so you can pick this up and place it down wherever you want. Guess it's kind of useful. Then you have Piglin, drops a gold block on the ground, they don't be greedy, you might face more. So it's basically just summons three of them, and you don't get the gold block. That's stupid. Uh, Pillager, careful with uh, this one, as it will uh, place an entire Pillager outpost where you... Oh. Uh, let's get over here. Yep, that is a pillage outpost. The, I don't think they're supposed to be there though. There's no banners on it. This side is missing completely, basically. And so is this, it, so yeah, it's not a pillage outpost. It's a broken pillage outpost that doesn't spawn any pillages, so it's basically useless. I mean, if you want to build a pillager outpost and upgrade, then I guess this is a bit of a shortcut, but it's not very good. Yeah, 
And we have the pole bear. If everything will add snow onto the target. Bear. Yeah, powdered snow. Good source of powdered snow. If you need it for a farm. And pretty deadly as well. I'm just going to throw these and see what they do. They poisoned. Someone a puff fish. Yeah, uh, yeah, play by the poison targets, yep. Yeah. This one gives you jump boost. Basically, splash fish and a jump boost gives you it for like six seconds. So, not very useful. Um, I need to. Hold on. So does this let you jump up two blocks? Yes. Does it let you jump up three blocks? Yes. How about four? Yeah. Five. Yeah, I think five is the max. No, six. Six is definitely the max. Yeah, six is the max. So it lets you jump up six blocks. But it's only for six seconds. So yeah, about six seconds for six blocks jump. Not very good. Would prefer if it was just like three blocks jump, but uh, much longer. Anyway. Uh, does the Ravager give you a ram? Yes, it does use it to destroy blocks in a three by three area. Yeah. Oh, it gives you the Ravager ram. Mine's a 3x3 three three area and it has durability. I assume it could be enchanted because the other things could be enchanted earlier, so I'm just going give to give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that it can be enchanted. By mending fortune, unbreaking, and all the picket upgrade uh, enchantments. Sheep, throw it on your target to trap it between things. Ah. I mean, and that might be somewhat useful, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, oh, I have shulk and not silverfish. But, so. Still, H. So, silverfish, skeleton, skeleton horse, slime, sniffer, snow golem, spider, squid, strain, bear, And this will be the last batch. Alright, silverfish. Let's see what this does. I'm not... I'm going to see if I can just figure out what they do without feeding that. What does Silverfish do? Uh, transforms all stone blocks in an area to... in a 10x10 10 10 to... Ah, oh, well that... Why would you want that? You can't pick them up with Silk Touch. And all they do is spawn Silverfish. Gives you a shulker door? Okay, you can't, it doesn't, oh there you go, you punch the top of it. Okay, that's kind of cool new door with a unique opening thing. Kind of cool. What do skeletons do? Basically the same thing as uh, the uh, bog, but without poison. Skeleton horse, same as horse. Might be longer than horse, so because it's, I'm pretty sure that was longer than five seconds. Slime bottle! Oh! Puts down slime that slows you. And zooms in your, like, POV a lot. That's horrible. That'd be good for, like, messing with your friends because that uh, is horrible. Sniffer! Gives you. Uh, 
Oh, God damn it. An ore detector, really? That doesn't really make any sense at all. Scan rate ores are going to stay highlighted until ores are mined. Ah, there we go. Oh, this is actually pretty cool, cool though, because you can see the, uh, if it's copper, if it's lapis, if it's gold. Okay, this is actually a pretty good ore scanner. So that's decent, I guess. Too bad you have to get a sniffer to get it, because, like, sniffers. Uh, pain in the butt to get. And that's another, that's the same as the armadillo. Same as the cage spider, but doesn't poison them. Gives the, uh, gives them blindness. Where how did I get 13 ore detectors? Stray. Makes ice, if you need ice it's cool. Strider. What does Strider do? Uh, skeleton sniffer, stray, spider, sure. strider. Throw it into lava pools to get uh, solidified lava. Oh. You do that and you get strider carpet. It is, yeah, it's still lava underneath it, so it's a good way to, like, um, get across lava without needing to, like, block it all up. But you did, again, you need, it's a one time you think, and you need that, and you basically need a bunch of striders, and again, they only stack up to one. This one gave me turtle chest plate. I have full neverite on. Gear mode zero gives you four and a half bars of protection, so that's pretty good armor. And it's a decent model, I guess. Vex. You get a Vex statue. Kinda cool. Villager. Spawns a villager. So this one gave me a cartographer. It doesn't seem... It gives you a woodland, trail explorer, globe. And ocean. Yeah, that's pretty good. So is it the same villager every time? Ocean, woodland, trail. Yeah, it seems to just be the same village every time. Huh? Oh, wait, no, this is a different villager. This one's a uh, shepherd. So I guess this is just like a random villager that with the, like, with what he thinks the best trades are. This one's the uh, fisherman. I'm pretty sure one of the fishermen's trades is coal for animals, which is pretty good, especially like early game when you or like if you have like a uh, a wither skeleton farm that produces a lot of coal. Fletcher and an unbreaking one crossbow. Mm, I don't know. I'd rather have the arrows of decay too, which you can get. Soul Smith gives you a diamond axe and a diamond sword, a weapon smith, so yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, if you don't like the villager that you get, you can always... Oh, that's pretty good. Ten sweet berries for an emerald. And ten dried kelp for an emerald. So yeah, if you don't like the villager that you get, you can just pull them up and redeploy them. And you get some stuff out there as well. Like wood and stuff, but it is a little bit. Well, if you have infin infinity on it, it's pretty good. Uh, you got leather worker, so you can trade leather for an emerald and you know, all that stuff. 
Here, Fletcher again and again. It's an, oh, this one's a piercing one crossbow. So there is a little bit of uh, randomness to it, but I don't know. Do they come with their workstations, though? If they don't come with the workstations, then this pretty much pointless. I'll actually destroy this one. But yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't come with the workstation. So yeah, you, you do have to craft them a workstation. So what I would do is I'd get rid of that uh, gate there, move that trapdoor up one, and place the. Uh, workstation under the trap door. If I was using that. Vindicator. What does Vindicator do? Well, uh, throw the magic axe con contained within this uh, bottle to destroy all wood blocks around. Oh. So if I just get the Vin... Get a couple of these. So there's a tree here. Okay, that destroyed that one. So if I use it here, okay. So it just destroys all logs in an area. So if you use this near your house, you're going to destroy your house if it's, there's a lot of logs in it. Uh, Wandering Trader. Summons a wandering trader. Like Podzol, Tube to Coal. So if you get a bad wandering trader, you can use this to re-roll your wandering traders, basically. Oh, no. It's always Podzol, Tube Coal, well, no, I see. Did I just get really unlucky? It's always the exact same thing, which, yeah, that makes it less useful. Warden Bottle. Ah, uh, it just shoot, it shoot, it shoots out the, uh, Warden's Beam thing. And this is reusable, which is, which is good because I really want to... I mean, it's also a good way to just get rid of the Warden when he summons. Uh, Witch Bottle. Alrighty, great job. So I guess it's just... Throws random potion effects. I don't know. It gives a bunch of random potion effects like strength, minor fatigue. Why does it give so many potion effects? Next up, we have the Wither Bottle. It's a nuke that does no damn. Well, I guess they di died from fall damage. I don't know if they did it. Uh, Wither launches you up. Um, oh, it doesn't make a need for our never brick for some reason. Wolf Bottle makes a bone pixel art. I guess you get some bone blocks out of it. Zombie Bottle. Doesn't appear to do anything. Oh! Turns them into zombie... Turns them into a zombie pigman. Zombie horse. Bottle gives you a zombie horse. Oh, hey. A totem of undying. Lily, stop it. Ah, the zombie pigman bottle. Gives you a one of these. What is I can't pickpocket. it. Oh, you break it and you get the a golden sword with sharpness five. Uh, it's not like it's got unlimited durability. Why? I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. So, my final, um, opinions of this add-on. 
mostly why like there are some like really confusing things and you're like why would you want a massive nuke like why would you want there are some of these are just truly baffling some of these are quite useful but it's just mostly just like why would you use these because most of them aren't really worth the effort to, to like make everything and then go find that mob then use that mob's ability like if you could just like craft like a mob bottle with like a handful of glass and then just like right click at the mobs of the mob bottle and that would work that and this would be more worth it in my opinion and if the mobs could and if the mob bottles stacked at up to 64 with each other then some of these uh, then I could understand uh, then some of these would be more useful, but I just really don't think these are really that useful. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you think uh, the, that this is pretty useless? Do you... Like, and some of them don't even do what they're supposed to do properly. Or do you think that so there's enough here for you to uh, get this? I don't know. Maybe you, maybe you really like the Shulker Door. Which again, I could understand. It does have a cool animation. But yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye-bye.